Ooh, a lot of you gym goers are about to get upset at me, but come at me, bro. Come at me. I ain't scared of you ninjas. Strength over size, baby. It's funny how I said strength over size, yet I was posing. Hmm. Size over strength factually confirmed. Anyway, I think a lot of you guys are starting to get the idea that I hate the gym, that I actually hate the gym, I hate gym goers. I'm pretty much becoming the calisthenics gains of YouTube. But let me tell you guys, that is absolutely not the case. I love fitness in general, but of course, I love calisthenics more than anything else right now. As some of you guys remember, I made that video, that calisthenics versus the gym rant, and I think some of you guys thought I was trying to say that calisthenics is better for bodybuilding than going to the gym, or that calisthenics is better than bodybuilding overall, which was completely not the case. So a ninja like me wants to clear everything up on my opinion about calisthenics versus the gym, okay? Not a rant anymore, but more so just a clarification video so that you guys don't have to keep debating with me in the comment section about which one is better and which one is, you know, lame or which one doesn't work and blah, blah, blah. So in one of my bodybuilding with calisthenics videos, I said, the gym is hippie shit. And a few people got upset at that because they didn't understand the context behind why I was saying that. So you guys know already. I'm always attacked every day. You guys see it, you guys see me debating with other people, arguing, you see people cuss me out, and a lot of those people come to my channel and talk about how calisthenics sucks, how I need to start going to the gym, how I need the gym if I wanna pack on any size, and I'm just like, bro, who says the gym is needed? So they go on to say calisthenics is hippie bullshit, bodyweight exercises is so easy. If you really want to pack on some strength and size, you need to hit the gym and hit some heavy weights. That is where the calisthenics gains comes out of me. And I start just dissing all gym goers left, right, and center. And I got gym goers coming at me with another comment, and another comment, and another comment. Calisthenics is hippie bullshit. You're weak as fuzz. You're small as fuzz. You'll never get big. I'm slapping them one by one by one by one. And then some of you guys in the SOS family sees me and says, Simon, I love your videos. You're such a cool dude, but what you just said is complete bullshit and I can't believe you just said that. So let me just hit all of these points. Number one, the reason why I said the gym is hippie bullshit is because a lot of you guys say calisthenics is hippie bullshit and have no problem saying it. But as soon as I say the gym is hippie bullshit, that's when uh, everybody has to uproar. Oh, fuck you, Simon. Because in my head, I'm just like, hmm. The gym has machines and barbells and dumbbells with all types of weights. And it basically makes it easier for any person to go there to achieve their bodybuilding goals or whatever type of goal they have in the gym. Whereas in calisthenics, it basically forces you to become strong before you can even consider trying to build any type of muscle. But yet, calisthenics is the hippie bullshit. Now, I'm not saying the gym is hippie bullshit, but do you guys see what my thought process was like? For someone to come to me and say calisthenics is hippie bullshit, but then admit to me that calisthenics is harder to achieve bodybuilding goals, it just doesn't make sense. Because first they say, well, uh, you can't just build muscle with your body weight. I didn't say I'm going to build muscle with my body weight. I said I'm going to build muscle with calisthenics. And they're like, well, even if you use weights, it's still going to be harder. But then, yes, it will be harder because you need to be strong enough to do weighted calisthenics. Some people can't even do bodyweight calisthenics. So what is the alternative to make it easier for that person? Go to the gym. You cannot do a pull-up, you go to the gym and use the lat pull-down. You can't do push-ups, you go to the gym and do the bench press at whatever weight you're comfortable with. Because if you're not strong enough to do calisthenics, then you have to go to the gym. You must. And that was my point as to why I was saying if any one of these two had to be called hippie bullshit, I will say the gym. 
So again, I am not saying the gym is hippie bullshit, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna come at me and say calisthenics is hippie bullshit, I'm going to ask you, well, if you think you cannot build muscle using calisthenics, which basically you need progressive overload and you could add weight, a weighted vest, if you cannot do heavy ass pull-ups, but yet you could do the, the lat pull-down machine, then what does that say about the gym and the ease the gym gives you in terms of building muscle? Because last time I checked, I don't think men like it easy. I don't think alphas are like, oh, oh, I'm alpha because I want the easiest thing to come my way. So my point is right there is don't call calisthenics hippie bullshit, especially if you can't even do calisthenics. You can build muscle. The muscle just needs progressive overload. If you're not strong enough to do calisthenics, then go to the gym and do the easier stuff. But again, don't try to brag that you're a man because you lift heavier weights there when you can't even do calisthenics. Because if you can lift weights at the gym but you can't do calisthenics, what does that say about the weight you're lifting? So which one is better, the gym or calisthenics? And my answer to that is neither of them. Neither of them is better than one another and as a matter of fact, I think you should mix two together to make the most amount of gains, strength wise, size wise, functionality wise, whatever. I think mixing the two together is the best if you want to, but if you're just strictly a gym goer, it's okay. If you're just strictly a calisthenics athlete, it's okay. But I hate when people come to me trying to tell me that the gym is just better if you really want to build muscle. Oh, you can build muscle doing pistol squats, but nothing is better than the back squat. But I don't care. As long as doing pistol squats and my lunges and my plyometrics and all of that helps me build muscle in my legs, doing push-ups helps me build muscle in my chest and my arms as well as pull-ups for my back and biceps, that's what matters. I don't care which exercise is better because I'm having more fun doing calisthenics than going to the gym. By the way, I actually trained legs at the gym the other day and I, I kind of enjoyed it. Was it better than calisthenics? Yes, in terms of legs. Because guys, as I said, the gym is easier. I liked it easier, it was nice. But at the same time, I like to challenge myself. Right, when I, was, when I was doing legs at the gym, I was not out of breath. You guys remember when I was doing the pistol squats in one of my bodybuilding with calisthenics episodes and I felt like I was about to die? Yes, I hate that feeling. That is a feeling that will make me want to go to the gym and actually train legs there. You get my point? So yes, in my opinion, in terms of building muscle mass, the gym is absolutely better. If I had a client, I would say, if you're trying to build muscle mass, go to the gym, take your ass to the gym because you probably can't even do calisthenics. Why would I tell you to build muscle doing calisthenics if it's harder? Right? But the point of my bodybuilding with calisthenics series is that if you don't want to go to the gym, yes, you could do calisthenics to build muscle even though it's harder, but hey, that may be something where you enjoy more, just like me. Heck, look at a lot of the machines that are at the gym. A lot of those machines are basically alternative exercises to calisthenics. Look at the lat pull down machine. It's basically a fake pull up. Look at the sitting down tricep dip machine. It's a fake tricep dip. They even have a machine where you place your knees on top of a pad and then it helps you go up and down while doing push ups, I mean tricep dips or pull ups. Man, every time I see people on that machine, or almost every time, I will walk up to them and I will say, yo, take off those training wheels. Let me show you how to do real dips. Let me show you how to do real pull-ups. And I will teach them negatives. And they're like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Like, this actually feels really good. I already feel the strength coming. And that is what I try to teach people when it comes to calisthenics. You can still go to the gym and do calisthenics or do weight training, but do calisthenics properly if you're going to do calisthenics exercises. Don't use those freaking machines. That looks stupid as fuzz. You even got some gym goers who say calisthenics is so easy, and then when they start doing some calisthenics, they start struggling so hard and whining like a little baby. wrap it up here because I don't want to sound like I'm clowning you guys and it's not all of you guys 
there's a lot of you gym goers who talk to me in the comment section and say, yeah, both of them are sick. Some of you guys say, I tried calisthenics and it just wasn't my cup of tea. They went to the gym and you guys enjoyed it. And some of you guys are the other way around. Some of you guys are like, hey, Simon, I go to the gym. I'm not really finding it that fun or exciting anymore. And I hate paying that membership every freaking year. So you guys ask me for tips on calisthenics and how I could help you guys integrate it into your routine. It goes both ways. My point is, is that just like, be, be cool about things, man. You don't always have to attack me saying that the gym is, you know, is better than calisthenics. And the thing is too, is that I don't even think calisthenics is better than the gym. You guys remember, I wanted to open a gym at one point and I still might one day. But the thing is, is just that I like to integrate everything. I don't like to say one thing is better than the other. And I just have a calisthenics preference. I just enjoy it more and that's me, okay? There's so many alternatives to gym exercises for squats, for freaking push-ups, pull-ups, you know, lat pull-down. You got all of these alternatives to train the same muscles, okay? So again, it's like nothing is better than the other, and I'm rambling on right now, so make sure you guys go down below, click those links in the description, leave a comment, be civil about it, and don't attack me, guys. I'm just stating my opinion. So I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.